and welcome to Incredible Oceans Art. So today we're going to be learning all about sea turtles and there are seven different species of sea turtle that we have alive today. Flatback turtle, green turtle, hawksbill turtle, loggerhead turtle, kentridge turtle, olive lily turtle, leatherback. Gosh, there we go. So for those of you that missed that, that is the flatback turtle who you find in the waters of Australia. This, the green sea turtle, who is one of the largest and also our only herbivore. Hawksbill sea turtle, who's critically endangered and sadly prized for their shells. The Kemp's Ridley sea turtle, who is our rarest and smallest. The loggerhead turtle, who's named for its exceptionally large head. The olive ridley sea turtle, who is the most abundant of all our species. And finally, the leatherback, who we're looking at today. Now these wonderful creatures may be small when they hatch, but they get big. These record breakers are the biggest sea turtles in the world, reaching six feet. And they are the fastest. They've been known to swim over 20 miles an hour in search of their prey, the jellyfish. And to help them catch their slippery prey, they have a mouth full of papillae, which hook them in. Now this turtle might look like it's crying, but it's actually releasing salt. There's so much salt in jellyfish that these guys have salt glands twice the size of their brains. Now let's make it. So start off by drawing out your leatherback. Now I'm going to actually paint mine first this week and then cut it out. So you may have noticed that the shell of a leatherback is different to other sea turtles and that's because that they deep dive to over a thousand meters so they need to be able to collapse their lungs because on all sea turtles their shell, the top the carapace, is knitted to their ribs through bony plates they need to have special adaptations to be able to do this so instead of the keratin solid scoots that most sea turtles have instead over the top of their carapace they have a thick layer of waxy oily skin lots of blubber and instead of those big hard plates they have little bones which all fit throughout the carapace to make it flexible wow now you can see that i'm using lots of grays and blacks and white and that's because these turtles are dark color so that they can retain heat more easily they also have a thick layer of blubber now once you've finished with your sea creature it's time for your leatherback to go into your biome Wonderful. 